Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make diamond painting videos here on this channel and today I'm coming at you with a diamond paint and chat video where basically I just work on my current work in progress which is currently Mermaid Bedroom. This is by Mrs. Butter D and um, from Diamond Art Club and this is the original artwork. It's been so super duper fun to work on this canvas and we are getting so close to the end that this is possibly the last whip and chat I will do with this canvas specifically. There might be one more next week, but I guess it depends how quickly I decide to push through the canvas. I I don't know if I'm the only one. By the time I get to the end of the canvas, I just wanna like speed run through it and get it done. Not that I'm not enjoying it, just like, it's just me. It's like I'm ready to start something new, so we will see. But yeah, and you are encouraged to work alongside me on your current work in progress, um, or feel free to treat this as a podcast and just listen while you do other things. Um, but yeah, we will be working on a mermaid bedroom and I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right on into it. Okay, so you guys, if you guys watched my diamond painting vlog video, I talked about how I was on the hunt for a pink pair of Diamond Art Club tweezers, so I opened a few of my older kits and I was able to find a pair. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the release paper. This is the section we're working on today. A lot of confetti, which is my personal favorite. Um, so I will also be using just my normal Diamond Art Club diamond painting pen with glue dots in the single placer and Randa's Crafty Corner in the uh, multi placer. This is a four placer, but I'm using the Diamond Art Club metal tips and um, typically you can honestly pick up five. So <laughs> you can pick up five with the four placer, which is pretty neat. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I'll see you guys. I painted my nails so you guys did not have to look at the disgusting purple nails that I have been rocking for the last week. Um, if you guys are new or you just have no idea what I'm talking about, um, last week Saturday I got my hair done. I highlighted it purple um, and it's like a very, it's, it's a very, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, potent dye. I don't think potent is the word I really want to be using, but I'm using it anyways. Um, it's a very potent dye and it um, stained my fingers whenever I would like scratch my head. Um, so now, now I painted my nails. You guys don't see the purple. Like I think I still have some purple on my hands. It's really hard to see, but um, or maybe not actually. I guess I did just take a shower, so maybe it, it washed off, but I just didn't want to deal with it anymore, so I decided to paint my nails black, which is not the most ideal spring-summer color now that we're going into spring, but that's okay. Also, can you guys see? No, you guys really can't. There is a rogue AB drill in here, if it'll focus. There's a rogue AB drill, and I think that's actually 140, no, not 141, 127. 141 isn't even in this kit. I'm just going to go ahead and pop that where it belongs. Oh, no. I didn't even get it in the thing. Okay, there we go. Um, but hi guys, how's everyone doing? I did not do a diamond paint and chat last week. Um, I ended up filming a coloring video instead. I did my finished pages for the first quarter of the year. And um, my intention was to have that be a bonus video on Tuesday, um, but I never actually filmed a diamond paint and chat video. Also, I'm gonna actually zoom in just a little bit for you guys, there we go. Um, I never actually filmed the diamond paint and chat video, so that one ended up just going up Monday, the finished pages video, just ended up going up Monday, and then I didn't have any other like video go up Tuesday. Um, but yeah, I was happy to at least get that video up. Um, have I colored a single page since that video went up? No, of course not. Why would I have, right? <laughs> the coloring mojo, when I get it, it comes, but then it really goes away very quickly for me personally. Um, honestly, like, it's fine. It's really fine. I've talked about it many times before. I don't need to beat a dead horse. That was a fail. Um, I don't need to beat a dead horse, but, um, I was happy to at least get that video filmed. You know, I got some coloring done. Not a ton, and that's okay. I feel like the um, like general consensus of the people I personally watched in the coloring community, um, like back in like 2020, 2021, are all kind of in the same like slump right now. <laughs> like I feel like we're all in coloring slumps. Like obviously I can't speak for everybody, but like, I don't know, it just feels like the vibe of who I used to watch in the coloring community during like peak COVID and 2021 
we're all in coloring slumps right now. How is everybody else doing? <laughs> um, but anyways, let's see. I guess I'll go with, you know, I will admit, um, color blocking heavy sections make it easier for whipping chats, but confetti heavy sections are just my cup of tea to begin with. But um, we are gonna find some spots to make this easier. I'm gonna go with this one next. <sighs> but anyways, hi guys, how has everybody been doing? I have been good. Oh my god, I wanted to talk to you guys about my internet fiasco that happened on Friday. Um, so I filmed my diamond painting vlog, you know, per usual. And um, I was like, okay, I'm going out to dinner tonight with my parents. We're going to Chili's. And I'm going to try to get this video up before I leave and I was so successful in doing that right like I got the video edited I got it exported I got it scheduled it was uploading great then my parents picked me up we went to Chili's I went on my phone to check my YouTube studio app and um, I noticed it was still uploading which was really weird it should have been up by that point and I checked like my my spectrum internet app and I had lost internet and <laughs> And I was like, wait, 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 what the heck? There isn't even like severe weather or anything. But the funniest part is they always say on the like Spectrum app that severe weather caused caused this internet outage. And I'm like, yo, like, listen, listen, maybe a squirrel decided to like chew on a wire and it messed up the whole internet thing. But we don't have to be saying <laughs> that it was caused by weather. I can't tell if there's a tab on this one. Um, oh, that one's just bad. Uh, we can't be saying that it's caused by weather when it's beautiful outside, right? Um, so whatever. I get home and I still don't have internet. But the weirdest thing was is that um, my oven clock uh indicated that the power had gone out um because the the you know oven clock and the microwave clock were both like off and like uh, what's the word like kind of like um it was flashing like i think the microwave had like 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 zero time on it and the oven had 136 on it which the time was not 136 that just indicated that it had gone back on after uh, or an hour and 36 minutes ago um and it was just counting up randomly from there um so I guess like the entirety of my power had gone out in between the time I left for Chili's and when I got back which was interesting um so yeah but then unfortunately like my entire computer had shut off uh because of the power outage so i had to totally re-upload the video which like wasn't the biggest deal but i was kind of annoyed because i was like oh i had this fully prepared fully done fully edited scheduled ready to go not scheduled obviously but like it was just ready to go and then yeah <laughs> the internet decided to or the power decided to be rude to me on friday but that's fine. I haven't had a problem since, and I guess I would have rather had that happen Friday night than have it happen during the work day when I'm working from home. Um, but you guys, I swear, I pay too much money for Spectrum to always go out on me. Um, now granted, again, this wasn't an internet problem, but I just I have beef with Spectrum in general. So anyways, that was like the hectic Friday, um, but it's all good. The vlog went up and... Um, I did not actually end up purchasing anything from Diamond Art Club this weekend, which is great for my wallet, sad for my mental, but good for my wallet, and obviously probably good for my mental too. Um, yeah, I didn't end up getting anything. Nothing really stood out to me this weekend. I was considering purchasing um, the new Margaret Morales, which is really, really stunning. I did end up putting it on my wish list. The Market Morales sold out really, really fast, but it did not sell out as fast as the Camilla de Erico, which shouldn't have surprised me, but it kind of did. But Camilla de Erico is very well loved. Um, and yeah, that definitely shouldn't surprise me. Cause she, like I've said before, um, she is also very well loved in the coloring community. So it is not that surprising that her artwork, like digital illustrated colored artwork is also very popular. Um, so both of those went very, very fast. I wasn't interested in the Camilla de Erica one. Um, I was just interested maybe in the Margaret Morales and I didn't end up picking it up. Um, again, which is fine. It, I feel like Margaret Morales has different artwork that eventually will probably get released with Diamond Art Club that I will want to scoop up like right away. Um, 
but it's totally okay that some pieces of artwork don't always call out to me as much even if I do really adore the artist that's something I'm personally like trying to get over is that like just because I really 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 like an artist doesn't mean I need to love everything they do um so like Ivy Dolomore is a really great example of this I typically love all of their artwork really I, I no let me rephrase this I love all of their artwork like like I love looking at all of their artwork and I really really like it however most of the stuff I would diamond paint but not all and um so like, for example, Rainbow Head was a recent release um, by Ivy Dolomore that I decided wasn't for me and so I didn't pick it up. And that's okay, that's okay. Same with Mrs. Butter D. I have most of her stuff. This is a Mrs. Butter D, I really love it. Um, I'm here for the food. Honestly, okay, I feel like maybe I would pick that one up if the background like wasn't so color blocking heavy. But see, I'm kind of hypocritical by saying that because I really do give exceptions to some pieces for color blocking. So maybe just disregard everything I say ever. But I don't know. I like don't even know where I was going with that statement. But um, I'm trying to be better. Maybe I'm just, I'm trying to be pickier, you know. I just have so many pieces. And soon, you guys, the anniversary sale is going to come up. And I don't know. I feel like before we know what Black Friday is going to come up. I mean, obviously, it's literally April and Black Friday is in November. But May is the halfway point between May and November. And so, I mean, listen, listen, <laughs> we're, we're reaching it. Not that soon, but it will come quicker than we expect. Um, but all that to say, I didn't buy anything this weekend. Um, and then wasn't there a Dreamer Designs 2 that came out? Um, yeah, 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 there was. And I can't remember what it's called, but there was a Dreamer Designs that came out this... Oh, no. I just dropped a drill on the canvas somewhere. Um, a Dreamer Designs also... I think it was this one. Oh, yeah, totally this one. Um, a Dreamer Designs that came out that I wanted. I put on my wish list, but I obviously... I, well, not obviously, but I didn't pick it up. Um, I will eventually probably grab it, but not quite yet. Um... But yeah, those were my adventures of Friday, Saturday. What happened today? And is that all that happened Saturday? <laughs> um, what did happen yesterday? I feel like I didn't do much yesterday. Today though, I did a bunch of cleaning in my apartment, which was much needed. Honestly, kind of spring cleaning vibes today, which was so needed, so needed. Like, I don't know, I'm the type of person that like, I'm not like a messy person, but definitely I like, throw things places and like don't pick them up like I had so much random crap on my couch that I don't really like sit on that often so today I like finally picked some of the stuff off of the couch like like old like mail or like newspapers like I'm the worst and um you know finally put it somewhere else or got rid of it or did whatever um so I did that I did a little bit of I'm gonna call it spring cleaning and Oh, it just it feels so good to be in a clean apartment and I'm hoping to actually like do my like wash my bedding this week at some point um one perk about working from home is that I'm able to do my laundry while I'm at home laundry is like the least intensive chore I could be doing um it's basically a waiting game and it's nice that I can do it while I'm working from home um I usually do like my laundry every Monday so I'm thinking I'll wash my bedding on Tuesday because why not um I was like just thinking about doing it today oh my god I'm such this is just I'm such a mess today um I was thinking about doing it today which is why I bring it up and then I was like you know what nah I don't feel like doing it today <laughs> um but yeah I do love the perk of of being able to do my laundry while I'm working because again it's such a not intensive activity like chore um you just kind of throw it in it's kind of like a little mini break for yourself you know um hopefully you guys are able to see this okay but yeah, so I did, I did some cleaning today, and then I went to my parents' house for dinner, and my mom made veal, which was very, very delicious. I took home a couple pieces, and um, I made my dad start the Taylor Swift Airs tour, movie. <laughs> and the way... Oh, did you guys just see how I placed those drills so goddamn terribly? <gasps> that was awful. Why did I do that? Um, but the way my dad looked at me 
when Taylor starting started singing the bridge to Champagne Problems and he gave me this look that was kind of like, oh shit, this is pretty good. I was like, yeah, yeah. Like I think honestly one of the be best bridges of Taylor's is the Champagne Problems bridge. Oh, so good. Um, So I was very excited. We made it to like middle of the rep era and then it was like 6.30 and I knew I wanted to come back and film this video. So I decided to leave their house. I could have kept watching, but I, I wanted to get home. Um, but that was really fun getting to like see his, I don't know, like reaction. I feel like he doesn't like hate Taylor Swift by any stretch, but he he's the type of person that doesn't really understand the appeal. And so I'm, I'm helping him. I'm helping him to understand the appeal. I don't think he'll ever actually like get to any point that like, which, you know, he would like be a big fan, which is like fair and valid. Um, but I just wanted to show him, um, what he is like missing out on, you know? Not missing out on, but <laughs> my brain is like only half braining today, but you know. <sighs> so yeah, uh, that was what I did this weekend, <laughs> which is so weird. I feel like so much happened this weekend, yet like nothing happened this weekend. Um, I finished, I'm trying to think. Oh, I um, started an audiobook earlier last week called Magnolia Parks. It's by Jessa Hasting and I decided, I think it was Friday night to DNF, which is do not finish or did not finish. Um, I listened to the audiobook and I am going to be so honest, I did not enjoy it. I made it 46% of the way through before deciding to just not bother with finishing it. Um, I didn't like a couple things. Um, I didn't like the storyline very much. I, I really didn't like the storyline. Um, it's like basically a lot of people describe it as um, a British Gossip Girl, which I really liked Gossip Girl. Um, this book didn't do it for me though. And there was just, there's, it's a very toxic relationship romance book. Um, I'm not even sure like you can really call it a romance considering how toxic it is, but I mean, I guess it's classified under romance. Um, <clears throat> but, so I didn't like the storyline, number one, which is important, obviously. I would like to enjoy the book I'm reading. Um, but then the audiobook, the pacing of the female narrator in general, I felt like was really terrible pacing. I'm um, just trying to figure out what color I want to do next. I guess let's do, um, let's do white. I didn't like the pacing of how she was speaking. So I typically have my speed of my audiobooks on at least 2.0, okay? If it's any lower than 2.0, at least for a, um, like, what's the, what's the word? Like a, a non-accented narrator, um, I can have it on, honestly, usually like 2.15, 2.2, very fast, but it's just my brain comprehends it better. They're not moving too slow. Um, this book I had, I believe, on 2.05. It was a British narrator. That in and of itself wasn't the problem. Um, the problem was the pacing of, of the book. I felt like if you had the speed too fast, you couldn't understand her. Okay, so I decided to slow it down a little bit. You know, and then you slow it down, and then the narrator takes pauses, like really, really, really long pauses after every single sentence. <laughs> and I was just not enjoying it because every time that pause would happen, I always thought that like my phone was about to ring or something because usually there are not that long of pauses in the audiobooks I listen to. Um, so for those reasons, I decided to DNF that book. Um, and I don't think I'll ever pick up the physical copy and read that because I just genuinely didn't really like the story either. So yeah, and you know what? I gave it 56, or not 56, 46% chance. That's nearly half the book, right? For the book to not be good and me not like it, that was a more than fair chance, I feel like. Um, I'm curious, let me know in the comments, do you guys ever DNF books that you're reading? Or are you guys the type to like suck it up and just continue? Um, I'm a voucher for DNFing because there are so many books 
that need to be read in my lifetime that I am not going to spend time on a book that I'm not enjoying. Um, sometimes I'll see, I'll try to see books through, um, but I really do like to DNF where I can. So yeah, I'm curious. Let me know in the comments. I know that's a pretty, that's a very, like, people have a lot of differing opinions on, on that. Um, but yeah, so I DNF'd that, and then, okay, instead I decided to start listening to Bride by Allie Hazelwood, which Allie Hazelwood also wrote The Love Hypothesis, Love Theoretically, um, a couple more, Check and Made is her newer one that's a young adult. This one is a paranormal romance, um, Bride is, and it is about, like, it's a marriage of convenience, basically, between a vampire and a werewolf, and I have been enjoying it so far. It's kind of goofy, it's kind of silly, but I, it's entertaining, and I've been enjoying it. Um, so I'm about halfway through that now. I listened to a fair amount of it today while I cleaned, um, which was awesome, and while I did my hair, while I painted my nails. <laughs> so it was just a grand old time. Um, so I'm glad I'm listening to a book that I'm enjoying now, and... Yeah, I have quite a few of Allie Hazel books. How Allie Hazelwood's books on my backlist to read. Um, so, also, I was thinking about this the other day. A while ago, I attempted, this was like probably in 2022, I attempted doing color and chat videos where I talk about all of the books I read throughout the month, like once a month, and talk about them and do kind of like a book talk. Um, reading wrap-up kind of video and it kind of was a fail but I'm thinking I might want to try again with like whip and chats um would you <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that would you guys be interested in uh that kind of style video once a month like maybe the first Monday of the month the whip and chat diamond paint and chat is like dedicated to the wrap-ups let me know I'd be very curious if that's something you guys would want to see um I know that like a lot of people in the diamond painting community also read so there's a, a lot of overlap and another interesting thing I feel like a lot of diamond painters enjoy is true crime which is interesting um I am very on and off with my true crime phases they don't really last very long I usually like watch a video or two or listen to a podcast episode or two every like bit of time and then I don't know but I do know the diamond painting community loves true crime. <laughs> um, but I have been definitely back in my reading grind, which I'm so happy about. I, oh, you guys, I physically read a cover story by Rachel Lacey, and I gave it five stars. You guys, if I had to recommend any, any romance author ever, Rachel Lacey is one of my favorites. She writes, I think... All of her books I have read at least have been sapphic romances and they are just chef's kiss amazing. I think I've given each one five stars. Um, she is on Kindle Unlimited and uh, that's kind of how I first found out about her back in 2022 and I have just been like obsessed with her books ever since. Um, so I've always made it a point to be able to read them basically as soon as they come out. So Cover Story just came out and it is the second book in her, I think, Stars Collide duology. I think it's going to be just a duology, um, which I'm so disappointed about because I want to keep reading about the world. And the same thing happened for her Read Between the Lines series. There were, I think, only two books in that series too. And I'm like, Rachel, Rachel, give us more. <laughs> I want more of these characters in this world. But unfortunately... I think those are the only books in the series and I don't think we're getting any more but she announced not too long ago that there is going to be a new series with a new book coming out I believe in um in September set in Vermont so it'll be a little different I'm always a little apprehensive just because I'm so obsessed with her that I get nervous reading a new book by her because I'm like oh my god what if I don't like this one as much um that happened with cover story I was really excited about reading it but the way I was so nervous about reading it because I was like oh my god what if this doesn't live up to any expectations that I have what if I'm overhyping it in my head before I've even read it um but the book was so good she she really doesn't fail so 
I just wanted to tell you guys about that. You should totally check out her books if you never have. Um, highly recommend. And then, let's see, I then started reading The Rule Book by Sarah Adams, another one of my favorite authors. April is like killing it this, it, this like year with new releases, so many good new book releases. Um, so The Rule Book is the second book in the cheat sheet like little series and fun fact, I've actually not read the cheat sheet. Um, I kept meaning to and then I did not realize it was the second book in the series till after I already had placed a hold for it. And I was like, you know what? Usually I don't like to read the books out of order, but I will this time. Um, it's not really the worst thing. These are books that are set in the same world, but you can read them out of order. Um, like obviously you're gonna spoil some stuff for yourself. But at the end of the day, like, these are all romance books that have happily ever afters. Like, it's, like, what, really are you getting spoiled for, you know? You're not really. Um, so I'm reading the rule book, and I'm about almost 100 pages in. It's so good. Love it. Um, and then hopefully soon, hopefully soon I get it from my library, Abby Jimenez's new book just for the summer. Oh, you guys, I'm also obsessed with Abby Jimenez. I have read all of her books. And I cried at like all of them. Such a good, such a good author. Um, and I just like cannot recommend her enough either. Um, so if you guys were looking for some new authors, there you go. A little book talk for you guys. Um, book talk. I don't know why I keep saying book talk, like, like TikTok, but book talk. Um, so yeah, those are my little book recommendations of the video. All that to say, let me know in the comments if that's something you guys want to see. I feel like it could be really fun to talk about some of the books I've read. Um, I usually read like six to eight books a month. Let me see how I've been doing this year, actually. I have completed screenshots of like my reading for each month. In January, I read four, eight, nine books. In February, I read four, eight, eleven books. And in March, I only read four books. March was a reading slot month, but that's okay. <laughs> um, okay, I'm trying to see if there's any more of that symbol, and I don't think there is. But yeah, I have just thoroughly been enjoying reading right now, and I would love to talk about it with you guys if that's something you guys want, um, like want from me, and you know, things like that. So, anyways, I'm just gonna add this last drill. <laughs> I don't know, this like one star symbol in her eye kind of stuck out to me. So I'm like, I'm just going to add it in and then we'll be good and I'll end off this video because this half hour flew by. Nice. So this is where we're at with this painting so far. And you guys, I love it so much. And like I said, I don't have much left. I have the rest of this row basically. And then just this top row. And then I'll be fully done with this canvas. And then I'm going to begin Rose Library. And also just an FYI that the unboxing of Rose Library should be up on Wednesday. That video is already scheduled. Good to go. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching this diamond paint and chat video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.